So yesterday Savannah got me a coffee from a coffee shop that was honestly probably some of the best coffee I've had in, in a long time. Like it was so good that I, uh, I purposely didn't chug it because I wanted to savor it. And normally I would just go get some, some more myself, but I don't know where she got it. So, we get more coffee? So I wanted to apologize that whole last scene, the microphone was on Omni, which I'm sorry. Savannah accidentally ordered our lattes with whole milk. And for those of you that can't have dairy or things happen when you do have dairy, you'll understand, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. So the owner of this coffee shop is French and seemed appropriate to get a croissant from. It's really good. Damn! So we're currently at, I think it's the oldest oak tree in, really big oak tree. <laughs> Old big oak tree. What, what are we, what are we doing? Where are we at? The biggest oak tree in the world. Is, is it the world? Yeah. I oh. think so. You think so? Yeah. I like your sandals, Seth. Yeah. It's bathroom cleaning day. Bless that man. He's truly doing God's work. Googled a couple of quick facts of the oak tree. It's called the angel oak tree. 400,000 people visit this thing each year. It's 65 feet high with a circumference of 25.5 feet, dating an entire area of 1,700 square feet. It's a southern live oak. It's on, we're, we're on John's Island, which is kind of cool. It's, it's my island. And it's, S oh wow. It's estimated to be 400 to 500 years old. So it is the oldest oak tree alive, I guess, or, or something like that. When they when they told me we were coming to to visit an old tree, I, that's the only t that's the only description I got. It was just supposed to be an old oak tree, and we were gonna eat here. So that's cool though. 500 years old. So apparently there's those stakes right there. They had to put those up because the tree branch itself was was too heavy. It's kind of crazy. We're at some tea plantation now. It's like over there. And this is actually fascinating. It's talking about how they make tea and, and everything. Also, this is the only tea plantation like that actually that's functioning like now in North America. Drinker, but it's cool. I still still would rather have coffee though. Yeah. 
This is an avocado. We're in Walmart picking some stuff up for dinner. This is like the third time and the third day in a row that I've been to this Walmart. I'm actually not completely sure what we're getting. That's more Seth's department. I'm just here for company and I drove. I'm kind of just approaching this whole shopping trip, much like I would with Savannah. I'm just along for the ride. According to the uh, that speaker, Bob Barker turned 99 today. I think we're taking pictures now. Savannah is taking pictures of all those people. Not her, just those people. What do you think he's doing? Voila. While Savannah's taking pictures, I would uh I figured I would take the take advantage of it and uh, get some drone shots. I like to have a good library of drone shots from places that we've gone. That way it just acts much like the time lapses. It, it, drone shots act as good transition pieces and, uh, and help you give context of, of where we are. I just hope that I can actually take it off. I'm trying something new. Right? Did I just stick my hand in? I'm trying something new. Uh, I'm doing time lapses, but from from the drone. I think it looks pretty good. I think it'll look cool. The sky looks incredible. I'm gonna bring it home now. Also, as I was flying, this this camera got covered in sand because the sand on this here that the wind kept hit just all such a mess. There's a bunch of people like that right there, take, just walking around with buckets. That right there, like that, that five gallon bucket. And picking up, picking up garbage. I don't know if they're like paid by Charleston or if they're just random, random people. I mean, it's clean, it's a clean beach. Cold.